Hello guys and welcome back into Bendy! This time in the Dark Revival. Uh, I thought the first game was a fucking classic because it is. So uh, I expect the same from this. This one has a lot of good reviews and everything. So let's go ahead and jump right in! In! We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come to devour you. I don't want to be devoured. Undevoured is my best state. June 18th, 1973. Ooh, biting the pen. Do that again. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Oh, this is where playing is her. All right. A little adventure. Okay, we're locating the elevator. Okay. This is the real world. This isn't the bendy world. Not yet. Hello, Clarice. Actually, it's a little, uh, a little too sensitive. Never thought I'd ever say that. Like me, I'm a little too sensitive. There we go. It could just be me also need to get used to a new game's controls, too. Hey! What you up to, Nathan? Dumb ho. Really? They locked me in? Good thing I brought my own key today. Oh, why didn't you bring the keys with you? From the beginning. Is the game always going to have an objective marker? Because that'll make everything easier for me. Did the first one have one? I don't remember. I don't remember an objective marker in the first game. So this could make things easier for me. And now I need objectives for my puzzles. I remember wandering around aimlessly in the uh, in the first game, at least at the beginning. And with... And with with video game editing magic you guys on YouTube didn't even know or you didn't know and I don't care not the most welcoming oh. hallway I've ever seen spooky ghosts hello Is hola This looks like a like a movie studio logo. Although I think they're a TV show. That makes sense. Hit that button. Audrey. Wilson. Yeah? Dropkick his bitch ass out of the elevator. I'm sorry, 
my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you. You'd straight up outlast kick him. Shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. It's an empty building Mind except for your creepy ass. Step in. Uh, yes, uh, I do. Uh, of course not. Why would you say yes? Audrey, you look like you could use a little company. I wouldn't invite this man anywhere. Now he's coughing all over us. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. He's got the Rona. Gorgeous. What was that? Don't panic. No I will get this out of here. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot these past few days. No need to fret. I'm fretting. You want me to walk into that dark hallway? Let's see what we can find. Not in this economy. Now. Old Wilson will protect you. Oh yeah, that's that's reassuring. Consider me reassured, Wilson. You go first. Uh, what you doing, buddy? Um. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. I will do that. I'll it follow you. Perfectly safe. Okay, first off, it'll be perfectly safe is not something you should ever say. Because that feels like something you say before murder. Don't you worry, my precious. I don't know why I'm doing a Gollum impression, but... My precious, follow me. Uh, yes? Yeah. I'm gonna walk around for a second since you want to be weird about it. Alright. Is there anything I'm missing? The illusion of living. Oh, I hate... I hate that for us. Hey, 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 it's my boy Boris! I'll see you again, Boris, I'm sure. Appreciate you, man. It'll probably be a different Boris, but... Hopefully the nice Boris and not the asshole Boris we ran into. Hola. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Edward? Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. This game was just like, let's give you a person that you won't remotely trust for a second. Got a wrench. Oh, okay. So this is like in the first game. But we need a gear. Uh... I don't know what that is. Music, probably a disc, and some... Oh, that's a book. Okay. Do we have to get the illusion? That's here. Hi, Bendy. I'm sure you won't be a pain in my ass later. 
Alright. Open that up. Take a gear out. Bop. This is a much simpler beginning than the last one. The last one I was lost for a while. I was trying to be... I was like, where do I gotta go? And then I eventually figured it out, but... Not before I'm... By stupidity. Which is always... I'm always stupid. Ink. There's probably something over here. Yeah, take that disc. Boop! It was... Alright, let's just drop off what we have. Have the disc. Boop! We have the ink. Boop! Then we got Bendy. Lay his bitch ass on there. And then we we already put the wrench on there. We have the gear. So so all we need I think that's a book. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it looks like a book as as it look closer. At first I wasn't sure what it was, I thought it was an accordion. Oh, is this the book? No. This one? There's all kind oh, is it or is it the illusion book? That makes sense. I did look at it. And then say illusion of living. Look that shit. So that was quick and painless for now. Welcome back, crazy bitch. Only what was your name again? Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Pull that switch. You pull that switch. Oh, good one, Wilson. It is done. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. The things you've set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Oh, Wilson was evil. Who would have thunk it? Sucking wind in my face. What are you doing? Oh, no. No. Whee! Well, that's not good. Is this when we turn into Venom? What's wrong with my hands? What's wrong with my hands? Oh, Audrey. What's happened to you? Wilson, where's your bitch ass at, huh? You just gonna do that and run away?
Welcome home. My name is Mr. Wilson. Okay, it looks like we need to find two... Even though this is a video game, so I want you to find two more bars for you to climb that ladder. But in reality, you would just leap it. You would just, you know, it, it, those two foot things aren't going to stop you. Uh, every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal. Thanks. Oh, there they are. Yeah, no. I mean, if you're going from the third bar to the... Like, from there to there, you could easily make it. In a crisis situation, you can definitely make it. Alright, anything else I gotta pick up before I go? There's Boris again. Bendy, I'm sure. Again, I'm sure he won't be a dick. Do we have? Do we have? Tell us we have magical goop powers, please. Uh, geez, what? You, uh, you'd think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, times change. Life moves on. Telly, Telly Wester. Nice name. The power of goop. Turn it. Is it like a music box? I know all about you, Miss Devil Angel Lady. Can't remember their name. I remember Boris and Bendy. And the and then she was something angel. It's been a while. What's up, bitch? Your friend, your protector, for you know how you could have protect me? Let me go home. But instead, you threw me into the goo. talking about me also the man who killed the ink demon unless that is me you're a liar unless that is me from the first game you're a liar jack and i have been wondering if you could meet with us considering the current situation we have been with you for many years and we feel we have contributed to the success of bendy in the past our interest is purely in keeping the company strong we just want to help However, we can. Let's talk, Sammy Lawrence. All right, so there's a place you can hide. There's a place you can hide. There's a bendy cutout. Can I hit him yet? No, I don't have a weapon. I really want to hit him. Goob. Come on. More pages. The ink drips. Darkness has spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corporate flesh. And it is close. So very close. It stains to grab you. Choke you from behind. 
You will feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. Hey there! How you doing, my friend? I missed you. Good to see you're fucking stupid as always. The Butcher Gang. Good, I'm happy I have to deal with the Butcher Gang, I'm sure. Because they put that poster right next to where that guy came down. So I'm sure that that'll be a thing. Climb this? Okay, let's do that. I don't know if there was something I missed down there, but I did pick up the radio thing. So I think... Oh, we can come back down. Okay. I just wanted to see the candle over there. There. I think we're alright. Alright, there's no sprint button yet. If I remember correctly, they, like... They not let you sprint until unless it's certain sections. I'm hitting like every button and there's no sprint yet, so. Boop. Oh, there's run. I guess I had to wait till they tutorialed me. Yeah, yeah, I saw your goopy ass down there. Walking, gooping around. What's up, Bendy? Heavenly Toys, we back. The Butcher Gang. Charlie. Barley. Edgar. Yeah. And there's Bendy, Alice. I, there, there was the mean Boris, but his name wasn't Boris. I don't know if he's still alive or not. The Alice Angel. I wasn't wrong. I just couldn't remember her first name. I knew it was something Angel. Oh, there's a... Alright, let's pull this. Hey! Dick. Alright, so we gotta climb this wall. Uh, I, I don't have a weapon. I don't have a weapon. Hey! Hey! I don't have a weapon. I'm hiding. Listen, you can't get me, I'm hiding. I'm so mad. You yeah. should have said that. Alright, was that Alice again? Low on health, grab a snack. 
Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you are low on health, you will need to eat. Locate hidden food stashes throughout the studio. Alright. I thought this was looked uh, weirdly here. Mm, oh yeah, I forgot. Bacon soup. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. It helps Ooh. match you up. But the aftertaste, it's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. Boris? A wolf? Or the like evil, said, or the, the mean Boris? Is this the lady from the Good end luck. of the... I hope we meet again. I can't remember if this is the lady oh, from the end of the and last one more game. Thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. He's a prick. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. Not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. But not Audrey Hepburn. Welcome to the studio. Thanks. Chapter one, drawn to darkness. We just now started chapter one. What was the rest of the game? We're going back up. The prologue. It wasn't. It wasn't directly told to me, so I. I don't know. Around here, it is. Uh, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place. If you don't know what's in there, if you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble, and that's just foolish. You gotta watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Your best pal. Why do I feel like the people writing that as your best pal is, like, fucking Wilson? Your best pal, creepy boy, Wilson. What is that? Alright, that looks like it goes downstairs. Uh, let's go here first. Close that. Oh, there we are. Look at us goop up. It's okay. We'll get out of this, Aubrey. Won't we, gigantic Boris? Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Now, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> This ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the door code here so I don't forget it. <clears throat> Alright. The code is 451. 451. 451. Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks... 
it for me. Okay? Four, five, one. Oops. Didn't know it only counted the five. Alright, what do we got here? We got paintbrush. He sees everything. Doesn't feel safe down here. Wilson, shut the fuck up! Nobody asked you! I'll turn around after the, uh, the thing's over. Wait a second! There was nothing there. That would be something. Wilson knows. I changed to Wilson knows. Bruh. Alright, so we can climb up here. What is Mr. Wilson from Home Improvement now? Mr. Wilson! Alright, so it looks like there is one more we need to get. It looks like it's further. I do like the objective marker. It helps us stupid people. And by God, am I stupid. We got a goop container. Oh, we punched it. And we're extra goopy. Oh, okay. Yeah, upgrade health. That somewhere there's a way down. So probably this way. Whee! Because Wilson knows. What does he know? I guess we'll find out in a few hours. Where is the Toy Man? Toy Man! You're in the wrong franchise, bro. You're looking for that Suicide Squad game. One man will give you all of his trinkets. 
and say, Hi, kids! I don't know why he sounds like Mickey, but... Hi, kids! It's Toy Man! Oh! -ho! Oh, search. Oh, here we go. When your terror has descended into our lives, this man named Wilson, ever since our world feels stained, like a great beast held in chains, the ink demon hasn't been seen in a long time. Many of us refuse to believe he's really gone. But what does it matter? Down here, we're all sinners. Children of the machine. All have the demon in our inky blood. There's that. I think I didn't go down the stairs because there's nothing there. So can I now throw the? What's this? This is where this isn't where I came from, right? No. Oh. Looks like there's a. Ooh. Double quota, that Mr. Flynn says. <laughs> Double. Well, I haven't even pulled a full day's work in that old toy assembly line in some four years. I don't intend on starting. Hey, <laughs> buddy! What is this? Huh. Doesn't seem to be much. Alright, back up. Alright, can I not pull this? No. Where do we go from here then? So I guess the save could be. I think. Is this the game that had you had to save via uh, punching in? I think that is. Yeah, this is the game. Yeah, you had to save via punching in, punching in that time clock. I remember doing it like seven times in a row with before realizing that that's what it was. I just thought it was some random mechanic. Just a normal. I thought it was a hide locker. Nothing in there though. All right, so some lockers can just be searched. Maybe the ones with the stuff on top. Okay, let's just let's just let's just get into it. I thought maybe I had to flip that one and then it would allow me to flip the other one, but it doesn't look like it's letting me flip that one, so we have to try plan B. Not that I ever had a plan A. 
Although I never really pushed forward after I saw that. Ah. Okay, let go. Alright. Locked. Unlock the maintenance gate. Alright, so that's our new objective. Is to unlock the maintenance gate. Neat. So all these we can open. They didn't open these because I thought they were... Ah! Ha ha! Gotty! I thought they were uh, lockers to hide in. Because I don't know if there was lockers to search in the first game. I think it was just lockers to hide in. Like, I think if it has, like, that little crate on top of it, you can actually search them. this we got collected gent parts Is this like genital parts try harder The little devil lounge. You're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. My company there. What is this? Uh, I just ate a donut. A donut. Okay, so I know these are the doors you can hide in. Which makes sense, they're wider. They're not the same. They're not normal lockers. Daily buffet. 89 cents? No change. What is that? That doesn't even make sense. 89 cent buffet, though? You can have a dollar. I don't give a shit. Oh, you can hide in a barrel. Ooh. Alright. Alright, well, we checked out the buffet. The buffet. Goop fountain. Employee lawn animation department is where we gotta go. You part of the that ragtag crew? Why I oughta... Happy that Popeye made it a... You know, is in, the, is in this game. I was gonna say make an appearance, but I think he's part of that gang. So he'll probably make more than one appearance. Fucking Popeye. Okay, so we need a key, probably. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, Pete. Okay. Learning all the new mechanics. Oh. Hopefully you're not that tall. Okay, so maybe peeking will probably be important as we go along. Looks like we're gonna need this. Oh, we have the keys. Again? Oh no, I thought we were re. Oh, we, we are. This oh, we broke the key off. You don't even know your own strength, Goop Woman. Goop Woman is so. That sounds so mean. Hey, Goop Woman. I you forgot. You're out there. Please answer me. Hi. Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? 
Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Uh, gent pipe. Genital pipe. Hey, now! You get your leaping ass out of here! There was something over there I was gonna pick up before Apollon Cassidy came on out. What is over here? Oh, I thought there was a weapon. I collected a gent battery. I collected a gent part. I collected a gent battery in a gent part. The fuck does that mean? Can I craft? No. What is the objective? Search nearby for gent pipe. Find something to break the lot. Okay. Well, isn't that a gent pipe? Maybe it's like a pipe. I was gonna say I keep holding uh, L3 to run instead of L1, and then I'm like, why isn't he running? Why isn't she running? Maybe so. Gent card required. Oh, oh. No. what was that? There's the gent pipe. Oh. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Bruh. Do that. Stop being a dick about it and just run in there. Don't do that, I need your face. Or I need I need your face? I need my face. Best way to avoid trouble is to not be seen. Remain crouched to stay low and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully so you may pass through safely. If something detects you, find a place to hide. Everybody knows I'm the stealth god. That's what they call me. That's what my friends call me. Nobody called me that. I suck. Stealth God activate. Missing a fuse. You Let's bitch. See if I can find one. I refuse to believe that. Damn it.
See, that's why I wanted you to pick the pipe up, dumbass. We could be doing that right now. But no. Here, one second. I'm gonna close that real quick. Because I want to come in here. I didn't even know this room existed. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a can of gent battery. Which means it wasn't a can at all. It looked like a can. Yeah, don't... Those, those listening to the video, do not drink battery acid. Thank you. Management has come up with a new way to reward us employees. Instead of paying out bonuses or overtime, they've started handing out these little tokens that you can spend in company vending machines. Besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea, but the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fools the vending machines. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now, I can't remember the last time I've seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere, probably costing the studio a ton of money and snacks alone. Hudson Doyle. Oh, Doyle rules. There's a toolkit. Oh, I can just hide in a crate. That's not a very good hiding spot. It'll probably work, though. Hiding in the desk. Plenty of places to hide. How about I take this gen part? Get many of those. Don't you worry about me. I'm just sneaking along. So I need a fuse. And why couldn't I they let me take in the fuse when I, I came in here first? Not me! No one's here! Where are you going? Where did everyone go? I don't know. Maybe what they don't. The answer? Maybe they don't like you because you keep talking shit to everybody. I'm gonna rip your fucking face off. Is not a not a line that somebody would say to somebody who wants friends. Okay? Maybe you're just a fucking don't loser. Ever thought of that, Tar Man? I want to die. Give me that yeah. fuse. Happy birthday to me. Oh, it was in a cake. Hey. Okay. In a can of battery. Wilson knows our purpose. What is it? What is it? Wilson don't know shit. I can't believe I'm I'm still mad at, at Aubrey for being like, oh yeah, Wilson, you're normal. You let's let's have a conversation. It's like Wilson's a crazy bastard. Why would you let him on the elevator? Be like, can I have can, can I get on the elevator? No, Wilson, get the fuck away from me. How about that? No. Who do you think you are? No, who do you think you are? Listen. 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 
Listen, everything I said about you was a lie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a lie. It was a lie. It was a lie. It was a lie. I think I heard his feelings. But I meant everything I said because you's a bitch. I don't know if there's going to be more than one, or if it's just his crazy ass. Oh, God. How'd he get down there so fast? There may be more than one. They just seem like the same guy. But then again, he would have to, like, teleport. But they're like goop monsters. They could teleport. I like to believe. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. And then when I get that pipe, I'm beating the fuck out of you, bro. Alright, so I know he's gonna make a turn around. Alright, I'm gonna come in here. And we're gonna wait. We're not alone down here. What's up, Goop? Get in there! Get out of here, goop. I need to get this. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's... I didn't think they would be... Uh, they would have him be smart enough to hear the door open behind him, but then they did. Ever find them. Sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an... Impact. Oh god, I can't believe I just said that. Was that a pun? You're so punny. That, that, we got a battery. We're playing with fire, no question about it. First, Gent comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. Must weigh a ton. Then Joey opens the place for tours to, to the general public. Are we really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. And while I was going, while, and while I was giving... A tour last week, we almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded thinking it was part of the show. I know Joey is looking to drum up some cash lately, but this, this is just asking for a disaster to strike. One good accident and there's going to have, one good accident and there's going to be a landslide of trouble. Hudson. Doyle. The dark 
puddles are calling. Alright, we need those chips. Eeps. At least now I can defend myself. I'm beating the fuck out of them. Uh, you're all in one tool for surviving many dangers. The gem pipe has useful functions and upgrades since you find once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press R2 to attack enemies. You don't have to tell me twice. I was trying to go with the headshot. You wonder why you have no friends. Oh, there's some bacon soup. Bacon soup. Now what? Break the lock. Oh, okay. I got stuck in a quarter. Die, please. Nobody puts Travis in the corner. So now we pull this down. Boop. So that we're going to run into, and I don't have a lot of health. That's a face, a face puddle, a puddle. Okay, bacon soup, bacon soup. Oh, there are eight. Did you eat all that, Bendy? You don't need no bacon soup, bro. I was in need of bacon soup. Feels hungry, me. Uh, all right, cool. Guys, so come in here. Casper, the friendly car monster. Use the powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles while crouched and undetected. Interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. Banishing also restores a portion of your health. Huh. Banish you back to hell! Seem to restore none of my health. I've been lied to. It probably did restore some health. I don't know. It feels the same. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll eat this. Look at that. Now we're now we're cooking with butter. All right, we in there. Um, 
Okay. Create a gent card. Okay, so to create a gent card, I need one more of something. Definitely won't make. Push us in. I thought for sure that was gonna happen. I'm not gonna do that. Pushed. Here we go. Hey, do I have to push it the other way? The magic is made. Or into this crazy tar lady coming down. And I banish her to hell, or does she just know I'm there? After you, look at that tar ass. Okay, there we go. One second, one second, I gotta banish. What? He didn't see me yet. I banish you to hell. I haven't gotten a feel on the uh, the controller. I keep I keep like flipping up and like swinging at bullshit or swinging at air. I should say. Hi, Boris, Bendy, and, uh, and Alice Angel. People may say that seeing is believing, but I think the fine folks down in the audio department might disagree. Once a cartoon's animation is finished, it's ready for all the sound to be added. From music and voices to outrageous sound effects, they do it all. It's no wonder people say Joey Drew Studios has the most impressive talent in the world. Maybe on our tour, you'll get a glimpse of my songwriting duo, Sammy Lawrence and Jack Fane, working on a new catchy tune with our very own studio orchestra. Or maybe you'll spot Mrs. Allison Pendle, re recording the voice of our favorite little lady sent from above, Alice Angel. On the Joey Drew Studios tour here in Animation Alley, never know what will happen, so keep your eyes and ears open. But before we head into the main studio to see the actual magic makers at work, let's make one more quick stop into our award-winning editing room. This is where they put all the ingredients together to create the final cartoons that you'll see in your local theater. The editing room is one of the busiest spots in the whole studio. There's always lots of work pouring in. But right. don't worry, folks. We hire only the best people who know how to get things done. Grr. Looky there. It's Carl, one of our editors. Carl always has lots to do, but he always Is that... gets it done on time. Is that Carl? Hang in there, Carl. What a trooper. Did he just say hang in there, Carl? You That is not the puns we look for around here, tour guide. Get ready for a big bendy 
I'll save you, Carl. Never mind, Carl. But this one. Here's where the magic is made. I'm Joey Drew, and our story begins quite literally in one of our many writers' rooms, just like this one. That's right. All your favorite Bendy cartoons are born right here. We circle up our chairs, crack open a cold drink, and toss around dozens of story possibilities. There's no bad ideas here. We've all got something we can bring to the scripts. I myself have been known to spend a lot of time down here with the fellas, tossing in my own brand of Joey Drew magic. It's my job to push the envelope with my big creative touches, <laughs> and I love it. Yes, sir. You'll always hear endless laughter coming from the writer. When it's complete, the script finds its way to our many artists in the art department. You'll be seeing our real Joey Drew Studios team hard at work on our tour of Animation Alley very shortly. But right here, you can see a typical office where characters are being lovingly crafted with very careful attention to details. I like to stand over their shoulders as the artists work their magic. It's my job to catch the they were too lazy to put real people in there during the tour really for like two seconds. Maybe they thought it a real person couldn't hold their arm up that long. This way. I don't know if this is the right way or not, but we're going this way because it's new. We got ourselves a Hertz donut. We're in the final days here. I can tell. People are packing things into boxes. Tools are going missing. You can smell the panic in the air around the studio. But us gent boys, we're just watching from the shadows. We lock the doors and keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wink. All is well. When one ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. I just need to keep my ink machine safe in the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. All right, then we need to turn this on, it looks like. All right, that did something. Hopefully open the door on the other side. We got Edgar, uh, the Butcher Gang, that's what they're called. I forgot what they were called. That is Bendy. I gotta tell you something, Bendy. You are no innocent, innocent child. Get the fuck out of him. What's happening to you? 
Way to way to electrocute a child, you evil bitch. He probably went through there. Don't knock. Hey! You can't come in until you bring me my picture. Okay. Alright, so the, are these the pictures? So we need five. Alright. Can we, can we, fin can we get our way in there? No. Hey, dickhead! Who's out there? Is that you, Phil? Hit him! I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. Hit him! I drew him. I want him back. We open this now. Ah, we had to make sure we had the. My eyes seal. His claws tear in flesh. His whispers turn your mind into dirt. Unspeakable trash. Listen for the harpy clone. Your doom is close at hand. The ink demon is both beast and lord. His powers too vast for us to understand. Death is fast. Death is near. His reign will last beyond your fear. This isn't good. Are you the guy writing those letters? Hi, Bendy. thinks he's Venom. Who are you? 
I don't know, Wilson drug me down here. My name is Bob. Keep whispering your sweet somethings into my ears. I don't give a fuck, bro. I, 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 I like a good sexy voice in my ears. You don't scare me! With your sex appeal. acting like alien. <laughs> 